it will be a frenzy of a week as uh, as you might uh, expect uh, because we expect uh, over a hundred delegations uh, to include heads of state in many of those delegations. What we hope to achieve during this week uh, is to focus the world on three major priorities that we have. The first being food insecurity. Uh, this has been a priority that has been personal for me. I've engaged on this issue since I arrived here over a year and a half ago. Uh, uh, the food crisis has been exacerbated by the war in Ukraine, but it already existed as a result of climate change, as a result of COVID-19 supply chain, uh, chain uh, uh, issues, and then, of course, as a result of conflict. But the war in Ukraine has certainly uh, made uh, an already bad situation even more dire. So we will be hosting uh, a ministerial, uh, working with countries to uh, commit to addressing the food insecurity issues. We had a ministerial uh, back in May, 103 countries signed on to the roadmap that Secretary Blinken presented that uh, required them to commit to making changes in their approach so that we can deal with this issue. Secondly, important to President Biden is to deal with global health. As you know, the uh, Global Fund will be holding a replenishment um, uh, meeting. Uh, the president has committed to assisting with that. Uh, they have requested $18 billion. We have committed to providing $6 billion of that, $1 for every $2 that other countries commit. Uh, dealing with global health, dealing with uh, AIDS, with tuberculosis, with malaria, with future pandemics are extraordinarily important, and that will be a huge priority for us. And then third, related to the speech in San Francisco, we will be looking at UN reform and defending, uh, defending the UN Charter and looking at the future of the UN and how we can make the UN better fit for purpose uh, in the future. Included among uh, the things we will be looking at is Security Council reform as laid out in my speech in San Francisco.